So, these batteries of uh, semi-professional grade are for lawn movers and uh, a variety of garden machines. They're of Husqvarna slash McCulloch brand. And, uh, every one of these units are rated 5.2 amps and uh, 52 volts. They're built up of 28 individual cells. And this outer casing is uh, held together with four screws and they have a Torx 10 with center drill, center pointer. So you need to have one of these um, screwdrivers that has a, a hole in the center and T10. And when you've taken them apart, you end up with 28 of these very nice 2.65 amps, 18650 cells. Very good ones. Very consistent in quality and uh, they charge very equal. Um, I've measured them up and this one has 48 volts, half a charge, so it's roughly two and a half, three amps, so it will sparkle quite well if you short circuit them. So my advice is don't do that. It will make you jump. So I open them up. These are kind of hard to get out. They are a bit recessed, so you need a, a screwdriver that can reach in and uh, just some elbow grease to take it apart. And when we've taken it apart, it's a small ribbon cable connected to the board that we need to carefully loosen from the battery management board. Here we have it. It's just clipped in place. It goes to the battery management display on the front. There we have it. The battery pack is now with the exposed connectors, so be careful so you don't short circuit it. They pack quite a lot of power, so just take it easy. The construction is very nice, it's, it's airy, you understand that these are built for long term use, they're not super densely packed, they could have made them smaller, they've chosen a, a path where the Yeah, the battery will live long in this configuration, you understand that. You loosen this cardboard and you remove the solar connection there, it goes to the front, and this also to the battery management part of the system. When you've done that, you bring out the big soldering iron. Because these connectors that we have is um, kind of hard to unsolder. They carry a lot of heat. So I use a 100 watt soldering pen to remove these solder joints. And um, try first with just heating them up, but you need to have a, a solder vacuum to take it away. And after that, it's just a question of ripping these nickel bits off the board one by one and try to follow the way that the batteries are connected together. That will save you all the um, sparks and, and uh, surprises when you do that. Eventually you will have them all and you can start to take out the batteries. You can see how they charge 2650, 2661. It's a very even charge excellent selections of premium high quality batteries to, to work with. I will leave links below to where you can find these on Tradera.